Hey gang, in this video I want to show you some of the statistical tools and help you can get by using Google Sheets and Excel. However, this video will be focused on Google Sheets. Now, if you want to get an example of this under our supplementary resources folder, there is a Google Sheets link here. And if you open that up, it will take you to an example of Google Sheets that I have tailored for you. And here's what it looks like. I've got two examples, depending on how your data is organized. But first, generally these spreadsheets are organized in a way such that the columns have letters and the rows have numbers. In this first example here, the very first observation is in position A5 and goes all the way down to A6 to A33. Whoops. And so if I want to compute, say, the average or the median of this data set, that would be kind of time consuming to do by hand. However, Google Sheets can make that happen real quick. I'm going to want to reference the range of this data, which is from A5 to A33. And in these examples here, I'm showing you how to compute the first quartile, the second quartile, aka the median, third quartile, the mean and standard deviation. And notice these all say A5 colon A33 within the parentheses. These quotations need to be removed for the computation to actually take place. I put the quotations here so that way you can see what's typed. And here we have a comma one because the code is quartile. And this is saying get the first quartile, second or third quartile. Another note is you really need those equal signs. Without the equal signs, Google Sheets does not know that it needs to compute something. And over here, this is where the code is actually executed and what the value is of this data set. Now over here, similar deal, but sometimes the data might be organized not in a single column, but over several columns. In this case, this information starts in column H, row six, and extends down and over to L14. Over here, we have the same basic code, quartiles, average, standard deviation, but they all reference H6 to L14. Now, right now, if because you downloaded this from My Open Math, you're not going to be able to edit these numbers because I want this to work for everyone, and so if, if other people edit it, it might stop working. So what you're going to need to do is, I believe if you click the home button for the sheets here, you'll be taken to your home for Google Sheets, and you can open up a blank spreadsheet. And if you've got your data set from, say, a homework assignment, you can copy and then paste your information. Now, if I want to compute the quartiles, I'll do Q1, Q2, and then Q3. I know I need to type the equal sign and then do quartile. Now, what's kind of nice is when, as you type it, it gives you little clues as what you should write. And I'm going to put parentheses. My data starts in position A1 and it goes all the way over to F9. So colon F9. Now that's not all I need to type because I also want to say this is the first quartile. So I need to put a comma and a one. For Google Sheets, no, I want the first quartile. That's great. Now I'm going to 
go ahead and be a little lazy and copy paste this for the second quartile and just change comma two and the third quartile comma three. Now that I've got those here, I'm going to go enter them into my open math and verify that they are correct. This question also asks for the interquartile range, which would be a subtraction of these two quartiles. Since I've got those numbers already in Google Sheets, what I can do is say equals Q3 minus Q1. And now I've got that value for the IQR, and let's go validate our answers. Oh, that's delightful. Green check marks. Hopefully this was helpful. Google Sheets.